Hey loves, welcome to my channel. I have received a lot of questions and requests to show how I sew in my lace closures when making a wig. So this will be a beginner's video. I'm going to show you step by step on how to sew in a lace closure and be able to wear your wig with no leave out and not having to sew the front of the lace down. Um, Make sure to check out the description section for important details. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And we're going to get right into this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to get into is the supplies that you will need to sew down your lace closure. So the first thing that you're going to need is your wig stand. Um, I will give you guys all the um, details on where I purchased all my items. So, like I said, you're gonna need your wig stand, which looks like this. The next thing you're gonna need, of course, is your, um, your mannequin head. And we will go into more details on the different types of mannequin heads that you can use, but I prefer to use the canvas wig block which looks like this and the wig block size that I got is a 23 inch which is basically the same size as my head circumference uh, the next thing you're going to need is of course some pins to hold down your lace closure of course you're going to need a comb uh, you'll probably need like a small comb as well as a regular size comb. You're going to need your wig cap. I, um, in this video, I will be showing you how to sew down your lace closure using a dome cap. Um, there are different types of dome caps. You can either use the men's dome cap or the women's dome cap. So, like I said, I will be showing you how to sew down your uh, lace closure using a dome cap but I will also insert a clip um, from a previous video where I sewed down the lace closure on a wig cap so it's kind of the same process but just different caps that you're using and this is the uh, the way the dome cap looks okay um, the next items that you're going to use is use is of course a pair of scissors and you're going to need your needle and thread so there are two different types of thread you can either use the um i forgot exactly what type of thread this is but it's this type of thread and then there's also the nylon thread um, the nylon thread is a little, of course, is a lot thinner. The thread is a lot thinner than the um, this type of thread. But I will be using uh, this type of thread. And uh, like I said, you're going to need your needle. I usually use a curved needle. I think it works best for when you're doing a sewing down anything and the last thing you're going to need of course is your lace closure so there are three different types of mannequin heads that you can use you can use the beauty school mannequin head you can use the canvas wig block, which I personally use, or you can use the styrofoam mannequin head that you can get from your local beauty supply store. Now, if you decide to use the styrofoam mannequin head, make sure you customize your mannequin head based on your head size or your client's head size. And I do have a video on this. If you are interested, I will put the link down below. This is the lace closure that I will be using in this video to show you how to sew it down. Um, 
basically this is how a standard lace closure looks this is actually a free part lace closure and it comes with a piece of lace at the very top that you will cut off before you wear your wig um, on the back of the closure it does come with a rim and this is basically where to sew your thread through um, I'm just gonna also show you kind of how another lace closure that I have looked this is a closure that I used on a previous wig the first thing that you're going to do is place your dome cap or your wig cap on your mannequin head and you want to make sure that you place it in a way that you would wear it on your head and you want to use your pins to hold it in place I suggest using maybe like four to six pins just to make sure that the cap does not shift on the mannequin head the next thing that I'm going to do is actually cut that piece of lace that sits on the top of the closure. You do not have to do this, but I prefer to do this. Um, you can leave the piece on until you get done with your wig and then cut it off. After you have cut that piece of lace off, what you're going to do now is place your lace closure onto your dome cap or wig cap and you want to place it with your pins. You want to hold it down with the pins so this won't shift as well. And I usually place two pins in the front and two pins in the back. Now we are going to start sewing down our lace closure and you are going to need two needle and thread because you're going to use one needle and thread to sew down one side of the closure and you're going to use the other needle and thread to sew down the other side of the closure and you will see the reason why.
So this is how your lace closure should look after you have completely sewn it down. The next thing that you're going to do is cut the piece of the dome cap or wig cap off from underneath your closure. The reason why you want to cut this piece off is because when you do go to place your wig on your head, the lace of your closure is going to look very dark due to the fact that the color of the dome cap will be coming through. So once you cut this off, then you will be able to lay your lace closure or make your lace closure look natural. And I do have a video on how to lay your lace closure to make it look natural. I will leave it in the description box down below. Keep in mind, cutting the piece under the closure will not make your wig cap loose or not fit your head. Sewing in your lace closure the way I showed you in this video will allow you to wear your closure with no hair out or no leave out. And you will not have to sew the front of your closure down. Your closure will lay flat and it will not shift. This is how I sew my closures on my wigs as well as my clients' wigs. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In this next clip, I will show you how to sew your closure on a mesh wig cap. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more hair tutorials like this and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. I want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.